After many years of trying a bunch of different Fujifilm film simulation recipes, there are only a few I can't live without. So yes, I'm back to shooting both RAWs and JPEGs. And today I'm giving you guys these secret recipes, including my favorite daytime, my favorite black and white, and my go-to recipe that I use in 90% of all of my JPEGs. Now, these are all for the X-Trans 4 sensor, but you can adapt them and use them with whatever Fujifilm camera you have. And you can find the recipes in the blog link down below. Portra 400. Portra 400 was one of the very first recipes I've ever tried, and it's something I still use even now. Now, personally, I don't think this looks exactly like the film stock Portra 400, but that's kind of a given because it's a digital recipe, so there's a lot of variables at play. Now, the foundation for this film recipe is Classic Chrome, which allows the recipe to emphasize a little bit on the tealer skies that you might see in film. It also uses the daytime white balance setting, which makes it great for midday photography where you might have that bright or harsh lighting. That's where I think this recipe truly shines. So I enjoy using it whenever I go out for walks during the early afternoon when I'm faced with that bright sun. It's good for everyday photography as well, and I think it has a nice balance between something that has some character but not too much. Personally I think 1 to 2 p.m. is the best time for this recipe but really golden hour always works. Now although I don't prefer to use straight out of camera JPEGs in use for prints or a photo book, I have found that some of these images that I've taken with a Portra 400 film recipe have made the cut. And that's because if it looks good it looks good so there's nothing really to change about it. So I personally like to be as flexible as I can with my looks and so I'll edit photos when I need to, or I'll use the straight out of camera JPEGs, the choice I made during the time being the edit itself. And I try not to be too married to that back and forth idea. So if you're looking for a film recipe to use during the day, or even to get that kind of summer vibe, I definitely recommend you try Portra 400 out. Newspaper. Newspaper is my favorite black and white film simulation recipe. Now I've been hesitant to share this one with you guys because it's something I use in all of my black and white photography and even the raws I try and emulate this recipe. But I do want to share it with you guys because I think it's really that good and I think you guys will have a lot of fun shooting with this. Newspaper is a custom recipe made by Kevin Mullins. It's an acro space recipe with heavy tones in the highlights and shadows. And one of the most interesting things about this recipe is that the contrast really brings out some drama in your images. It also has a bit of a clarity bump and heavy grain to it which emphasizes sort of what it's supposed to look like photos from a newspaper. So I've taken and shot many photos with this recipe, including going to events like Coachella and even just road trips with my friends. And it's one of those looks that never gets old. Another interesting aspect about this recipe is the use of Acros Yellow. If you didn't know, the black and white film simulations have filters that you can apply, including a red, yellow, and green filter. These filters were used often with film cameras back in the day, and yellow was by far the most versatile. And so what a yellow filter does is it absorbs the blue light, increasing contrast between certain subjects and making and adding some depth in your skies and clouds. This is something that is built into your recipe which can add some character and an interesting look towards your images. So if you don't like black and white, a big reason why I encourage people to shoot in black and white is because it changes the way you look at the world. I'm not exaggerating. Personally, it's improved a lot of the way I perceive and look at light. In photography, where you're often blinded by color. Now, color is great, but one of the things about color is that it can distract us from seeing interesting different combinations and compositions of light and shadow. So here's a useful photography exercise for you. Treat it as an exercise and spend your days shooting only in black and white, and you'll start to notice the different ways light and shadow interact. You'll begin to notice certain little things like how light and shadow can actually create leading lines and perspectives lines in your composition and images and change the way you shape and frame your shots. And soon enough, if you practice this enough, light and shadow will be the thing that dictates your compositions, not color and not even subject. And then when you go back to color, you'll start seeing the world in a different way and it'll apply back to your normal photography, thus improving your photography as a whole. So try it out, it might change how you take photos forever. Usual. Usual is the custom recipe I use 90% of the time. It's a recipe I created specifically for myself, and really it's nothing special. All it is is classic chrome with highlights and shadows at negative two. That's it. So I've taken the normal basic classic chrome and applied a reverse S-curve to it. And I'll tell you why I've done it, and I'll tell you why it works. Classic chrome is a film simulation that's very versatile. You can use it in many situations from street photography to sunset photography to portrait photography. And one of its defining characteristics, at least in my eyes, 
size is its flatness. It generally has a lower contrast when compared to other film simulations like Classic Negative and Acros. Now, you'd think I'd do the opposite to compensate for this lower contrast by adding a normal S-curve to it to even things out. But I actually like how it looks this way. It takes the things I like from Classic Chrome and emphasizes on those aspects even more. This way, when I'm shooting in harsh daylight scenarios, the highlights don't kill me, and when I'm shooting in low-light nighttime scenarios, the shadows don't destroy me. It also acts as a great editing base if you like editing JPEGs because the tones are neutral and you can apply and add adjustments from there. I also think it's a great reference point for your RAWs as well. This is because it can show you just how much dynamic range you have in your image and how much you can bring out without making the photo look terrible. Now, Usual 2 is something I've been experimenting with and I've added one single variable, color. All I've done is added plus one to color and I might try adding plus two later. And so you can probably tell I like little minute adjustments. The reason why I've done this is because Classic Chrome is a lower saturation film simulation as well. And so adding that color into it can bring some pop back into your photos. But as always, this is something I'm still experimenting with. So this is my go-to default recipe. I find Usual to be my most versatile film simulation recipe because I can use it in all scenarios and it still looks good. This is because a lot of other film simulations have kind of a characteristic to it, sometimes too much, especially with some of the other recipes you'll try and use. This can kind of bake your images, which might make it look unflattering in some scenarios and really good in other scenarios. But the good thing about this is that it's basic looking, but it doesn't look like an iPhone photo. Nothing against iPhones. So if you're looking for a sort of set it and forget it recipe, I definitely recommend you try this one out. And so those are the film simulation recipes I can't live without. Portrait 400 is the main daytime shooter. Newspaper is my all-inclusive go-to black and white driver and usual is usual. Try these out, I think you'll have a lot of fun with them. And if you're interested, I'm currently giving out free 4x6 prints, you can find the link down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you in another video. Peace.